everyone, this is Boa from the Mars server. I'm here to do a video on gears and upgrading. Yeah! Okay, so uh, this is a requested video, so I'm going to do uh, kind of like a general general guide on how gear upgrading works in Mavi. So, for gear upgrading, the first thing people need to know is that each gear, like your weapon, clothing, your armor, they all have something that says, let me see if I can, something that doesn't look too crazy, there you go, they all have something that says durability on it and proficiency. Uh, so for durability, obviously the most, you know, everyone knows what durability is, uh, most common thing to see in a game is uh, if your durability runs low, make sure you repair your weapon or your weapons or gears, and you can use them. You can equip them. You can actually, you know, not die with them. Uh, proficiency is basically the meaning. Let's see. Another word to say proficiency is the usage, how often you use it. You're basically proffing your weapon, your gears. You're you're making it tough. So, um, in order to upgrade your gears and your weapons, you actually have to increase the proficiency of it. Which means you have to wear it, you have to get hit with it, you have to use it, you have to smack things with it. You know, you basically have to just profit. That's another word for it. Also, a neat thing to keep in mind is that you actually prof things much faster if your character age is older. So if you if you look at your age, and it's kind of low, it, you actually do prof things a little bit slower uh, when your character age is low. But if you have a higher age, you can prof it much faster. So that is one of the advantages between um, age differences in Mabinogi. Just a little neat little uh, tidbit there. All right, so. If you want to re uh, repair, make sure you go to the appropriate person to repair. Some blacksmiths will repair for uh, at a much higher rate than others. However, they'll be more expensive. And not all persons repair the same thing. So blacksmiths, obviously, they only repair things like uh, weapons like swords. Um, let me actually see what Edern can repair off of me. He can repair armor related stuff, he can repair my shield, he can repair my knuckles. However, he can't repair things like my guns, my uh, cylinders, wands. Those you have to go to other types of repair peoples to uh, repair at. So, my alchemist buddies that repair would be uh, like Epa in Taltine. Um, if you want to repair guns, you're going to have to go all the way to Vals to repair guns. Or you can repair it at like one of those people at the, 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 the uh, Commerce, but I don't recommend it because their rate is pretty low. Um, that is why it is so great if we have things like 100% repair events. So do take advantage of it, guys. Alright, anyways. That is the first step about um, upgrading. You profit to a certain point, and... When you go to a blacksmith or whoever that repairs, most likely, there's a bunch of NPCs. I can't really say who specifically for each gear everyone has. You're going to have to go to your trusty dandy uh, Wikipedia um, for that. So I'm going to go ahead and go to either in here and see what he can modify. Modify is basically upgrade. So I click on a modify and then it if I click on other things like alchemy stuff, you can't. You can see it's there on the list, but he can't do anything to it because it's. Yeah, it says. But what? He can actually jump upgrade this thing. Okay. <laughs> wow, that's interesting. Can't upgrade this. You can see if you click on it, you can see on the list of here, right here, what you can and cannot upgrade. Everything that's faded means you can't really upgrade it because there's a reason why. And if you hover over it in red, you'll see why. It'll say, you do not have the gem for the right upgrade, or you do not have the right proficiency for it. You do not have the gold. It'll basically tell you. Alright, but I know I can't upgrade my shield. Great. So, here's the first thing. Uh, not all upgrades are the same. Uh, each weapon, almost each weapon, has uh, different upgrades. 
Shields don't have the same upgrade pads as uh, knuckles like that. Swords don't have the same as uh, cylinders. So it's always, uh, just just know it's always different. Alright, so my Avon shield here. Yeah. I have three choices to upgrade. I can either upgrade with, um, let's see. Chance that automatic defense will be triggered when attacked from close quarters at 5%. Or, chance that automatic defense will be triggered when attacked from long range, 5%. Or, chance that automatic defense will be triggered when attacked with magic. 5%. So I can't really say which is the best choice upgrade path because it's really all about preference. Do I want to get pinged and, you know, have a 5% chance of, uh, uh, what do you call it, having that enemy attack me with melee and then me actually, like, not mm, deflecting it, if that's the right word for it. Not really deflecting, but I'm actually, like, gonna get pinged from it. Um... Or do I want a long range, so someone who's like shooting arrows to uh, have a 5% chance of uh, getting pained? Or do I want somebody with a 5% chance with magic uh, attacks to come ping me? So at least for for shields and stuff, it's really all about preference. Can't really say which is the best one for you guys. Um, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and go with, um, let's say I'm the type of person that it's pretty good at dodging. I don't want to like, you know, I don't need to worry about the melee one because I'm not gonna, uh, what do you call it? I'm not gonna get hit. Um, and at the same time, I don't seem to fight a lot of archers, so I'll just be like, yeah, I'm, I just, I hate those mages. Let me just upgrade with this path. So I'm gonna go, okay, all right. And you'll see, once I've chosen my choice of uh, upgrade, it'll say. The proficiency amount that I need to upgrade. So I'll say, hey, you need at least 45 proficiency and 12,000 gold to uh, modify this shield to one upgrade path. Now, do keep in mind that each gear you're going to upgrade has a max amount of upgrade paths. Uh, you can see if I hover over my shield, I've already upgraded it one time, just one time. Uh, one out of three. Uh, and the upgrade that I have is the melee, oh, auto, <laughs> auto melee defense, ooh, go figure. Let, let me just stick with that path then, since I started at that path. <clears throat> um, and you'll see that it has a max amount of three slots, so that means I can't really upgrade more, more than three times. It's gonna be limited to three. Oops, my bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade. This one says 55 proficiency. Upgrade. Do you want to have Shield of Avon special upgrade? One upgrade to Lizard. Whatever. Okay. Yeah. Sure. All right. So upgrade success. When you upgrade your gears and stuff, don't worry about it. You don't fail in upgrading from an NPC. The only thing that you could fail is <clears throat> is uh, special upgrades and um, enchants, which I'll do in another video. So that is uh, that. You'll see when I hover over my uh, shield again, it only it has upgraded to two out of three slots now. I can only upgrade it one more time. Now let's say I want to upgrade it to the melee uh, thing again. You can see now, unfortunately, if I try to hover over it, it'll say insufficient proficiency level. That's because after you use the proficiency on your gear, it goes back down. So I used like 5 55, what the heck, 55 uh, proficiency, and it went down to 45 now, because I used it up. Now I gotta raise it back up to 55, just to upgrade it again. So do keep in mind about profing, is that once you hit 100, it doesn't go beyond that, you'll have to use up your proficiency, otherwise you kind of just like, you know, waste it away. Alright, so that's that. I won't be able to upgrade my uh, shield now because I need the proficiency for it. <clears throat> Let's go on to my knuckles. Knuckles! Knuckles! Alright. So, weapons and stuff kind of have a more complex path than things like shields. Shield, pretty basic. You know, pr defense, it's all good. Um, things like weapons, however, can have multiple types of paths. Some might focus on dam max damage, some might focus on um, 
crit, some might focus on uh, blah, 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 balance. So again, it's really all about preference in terms of your character, your own character. Uh, is your character already maxed out on crit? Eh, you probably don't even need too much crit. If you're, is your character really good on balance? Like, if you have good decks, you're really great at how much average balance damage you do, then you probably don't even need too much balance. Most of the time people go for the max damage just because it's the max damage. That's the only thing that can be difficult to get, have your character gain more of, because it's based off of max damage and strength, so you really can't make it too high um, on your character. Unless you have like a bunch of titles and stuff like that. So, um, so for this one, unfortunately, I only have one upgrade pack because knuckles are <clears throat> fairly simple. They only have uh, a straight line path going from uh, max damage and crit and the loss of durability. At least for this one. But at my last final upgrade, I can either choose between a max damage 10, minus 1 durability, or an artistic upgrade. Which is uh, a chance of getting a random amount of will, 1 to 50, or a random amount of stam, 2 to 15. It's, it's not, the numbers are not super guaranteed, because I'm reading this straight off of Wikipedia and... Sometimes the numbers aren't really that accurate, you know, because players kind of update that thing. So just letting you know, FYI, that uh, it's not always set in stone, the numbers. Um, artistic upgrades are a little bit more um, different than the regular upgrade paths. And what they are is that they give you a random roll of stats, which I've just mentioned. The other one, the bracers, should give me will. Uh, random amount of stats of strength in dex will luck. Some don't give other stats, while well, some do. So the knuckles will only give me will or um, stam. Uh, other weapons might give strength. Some might give int, and some people actually look at that as like really important for their uh, weapon choice of upgrade. So just do keep in mind that the artistic upgrade is always the last. Fifth upgrade. So before you upgrade to your last path, make sure to check if it's an artistic one. And do remember that artistic upgrades are not always the best. There are some weapons that do much better without the artistic upgrades. So just, just keep that in mind. So now upgrade this. Say yes. All right. Now because I upgraded this, you'll see that the second path of upgrade has unlocked. It doesn't show the other paths yet until I get to that point, because uh. That's how upgrading works in Mavi, is that they don't show the next upgrade until you actually can upgrade it. Uh, get, I mean, get to that point. Because some upgrade paths, you can only upgrade at path 1, or upgrade slot 1, or upgrade slot 2, or 3, 4, and 5. So, you make sure you choose the right one to upgrade. Unfortunately, I can't really show that example here, because I don't have a weapon that has more than 2 paths. This bracer only goes in one straight line. So I'll just go ahead and upgrade. Let's see the next one upgrades to the next path. Now, um, if I try to go back to a lower upgrade, it'll say you have exceeded the number of upgrades available, which means this upgrade says it's only literally upgradable around the zero or the first, a quote unquote, first upgrade path. So I can't really go back down and, and use this path to upgrade. I have to keep going forward. And I still do have enough proficiency to upgrade one more time. Alright, let's do this. And there you, there you have it. The last upgrade, well not the last, second to last upgrade path has been unlocked and it's showing. However, I don't have the proficiency for it. But you'll see now that my upgrade on my uh, knuckles are 3 out of 5, so... I can only upgrade it two more times. <clears throat> so that is how upgrades work. Maybe. Now let's get down to the gears part. The clothing, the armors, and stuff like that. There are <coughs> excuse me, there are three types of uh, wares, I guess you can say, in Mebby. And it is clothing, 
It is uh, light armor, and it is heavy armor. In Mabinogi, you can wear, yes, light armor. At, or, I'm sorry, you can use clothing, yes, as armor. And it actually is one of the most um, common, if you think about it. It's kind of weird for people to say that it's the most common, but... Uh, it is because it's really easy to repair, really cheap to repair, super duper cheap. So for me, I am an alchemist. I don't actually wear armor, uh, even though right now it looks like I'm wearing armor. Hide this. I don't. This is all fake. This is a facade. <clears throat> yeah, look at my chubby legs. Very cute. Okay. I don't actually wear armor. I wear clothing. So for me, I'm an alchemist. I like to use the Flame Rider outfit, a uh, combination set with um, boots. And the reason why is because this two set together will give me a Flame Burst enhancement combined. Now some people will be like, yo, Bobo, why you no know, use Cressida? Cressida is great. I love Cressida too. I don't have a good one, however, but it is also... The reason why I also focus on flame is just because, like, it's just cheaper to get. It's it's in terms of efficiency, in um, terms of like money. I just get the flame uh, flame rider set just because it's easier. <clears throat> just see that can be put hard, expensive, and really hard to get a good roll. So unless I get like a really really high roll on a Cressida, I'm gonna stick with my flame rider because I'm good with it. Flame uh, alchemy is my Specialty in game, so it is uh, something I stick with. So that is that, and then I have a combination of other uh, outfits that I use with it. And I don't use helm because, um, let's see, well, because enchanting in general is kind of annoying. So I like to enchant on cheaper things um, that don't cost too much to repair. Because you know, it's like when you're out in the field and you're killing stuff and go rah rah killing stuff. You have to repair a lot, and you know, if you're repairing armor, it's expensive. It's pretty darn expensive. And you're already repairing weapons, so that's like, uh, you're adding to your expenses. So for me, I spend a lot of money mostly repairing my cylinders. If you guys are an alchemist, you guys know how easy it is to wreck your cil uh, cylinders so fast, because, you know, I don't know, I think they just, like, they, they need to fix that. I feel like cylinders die too fast. <clears throat> but they're pretty strong, so uh, that's a win-win. Uh, that's a downside, I mean. So, I spent a lot on repairing my cylinders, so I decided to, like, put my expenses towards my cylinders more versus my clothing, my armors, and stuff like that. So that is why I use clothing armor. Um, at the same time, if you're wearing clothing, I also have accessories I can combine with it. So I have more defense and protection and all that good stuff that an armor, a set of armor can give me. Um, so that is another reason why I don't use uh, armor, uh, light or heavy. Um, however, it will make me less tanky. I will, you know, if I get hit, I won't be able to you know, get hurt. I'll, I'll get damaged a lot, unfortunately. But luckily for me, I have a lot of uh, HP to recover from that. So that is uh, clothing. Another another reason why I stick with clothing is because if you guys upgrade your um, light armor, where is it? if you guys upgrade your heavy armor and light armor mastery, for those that do use it, you'll know that if you use your heavy armor and your rank 1, it's going to lower your dex. Though, even though it's going to make your butt, like, expensive. Uh, I mean, not expensive, protected. <laughs> uh, if you rank up your light armor, it's a little bit different. I believe... Oh, what does it say? What does it lower for light armor? I don't think it lowers anything. Oh, it doesn't seem to lower anything. But it doesn't give you too much uh, defense compared to heavy armor. The downside with light armor is that there's not a lot of light armor in Mabby. It's kinda it's kinda hard to find a good one. That's what I think. That's just personally my opinion. So there's always ups and downs to each set of gears you wear. 
So if I take all of this off, I go on straight to my armor set here. The armor set that I have, and I don't really normally use, but I do have it just because I have it, <laughs> is my Dark Knight armor, and that is because I got it cheaply at uh from Gacha Pons. Um, I bought them pre rank one with enchants already on them. So that is a uh, why this is just only me. That is why I have this as my armor set. Um but it is not really the best armor set. Not, I'm not going to say it's the best one because it's not. There are actually a lot more um, better armor sets out there. Um, let's see. The Opalin one. Is the Opalin one good? I don't even know. There's only four upgrades on it. What does this one have? This one has five. What the heck? That's funny. Anyways. Um... There are certain, there are also certain armor sets that have a combination effect. And for those that, that don't know combination effect, it is basically the little sparkle you get when you wear a combination. So if you guys see me with the thing later, you'll see, ooh, sparkle! Ooh, sparkles! That is what combination effect is. Some armor sets will have a combination effect, and it can greatly help you in, uh, what you need to do. I think there was like one for, uh, let me check the wiki again. Combination. Or actually it's called, I think it's called armor. Yeah, armor combination effects. Sorry about that. If you guys go wiki it, you'll see that there are a bunch of armors that have different armor uh, combination effects that have poison immunity, petrification immunity, explosion defense, stomp defense, mana usage reduction, stamina usage reduction, attack speed. So those are all the different types of uh, combination effects. And I think the most popular one might be um, explosion. I could be wrong. There's not a lot of people use that need to worry about explosion stuff because, you know, maybe they don't have too many explosives exploding things. But it is one of the effects that would uh, be quite useful for certain runs. Okay. And another another combination effect that I used for my uh, own alchemy one was the flame burst one, as mentioned. Uh, the Crusida gives also flame burst, water cannon, and life drain. And I think there are more, but I can't find them. Ah, Smash Enhancement for Thames Plate. That's pretty good, actually. But yeah, hopefully you guys uh, notice these uh, combination effects. When you hover over them, you'll see. Um, You'll see on it, like on my armor right there. Where is it? Right there. Flame Burst Enhancement, so it's a lot of Okay, also there are some armors that have uh, things like auto defense. If you see on my Dark Knight boots, it says auto defense range 2%. This is something that's already on the armor and it's not part of an upgrade. So it's great to have gears that have that already versus those that don't have it. But I understand people are always like, you know, trying to find or having a hard time finding gears. Uh, cheap ones, at least. Just uh, try to avoid NPCs. Because if you look at the gears in NPCs... Like, you're done here. Look at your armor sets. These are not that great. These are probably great to start with, but I wouldn't... I really would not spend... What is this? 172,000 gold on this armor set? I would not spend this much gold on these armor sets. Why? Because you actually might find better armor sets from actual players in uh, the uh, shop. And when they sell in the shop, it might actually be cheap. The One of the most popular ones back in the day, this is just back in the day, was I believe the Dustin. Let me see, there's actually more Dustin. Wow, there's a lot. Alright, so you can just search top and check Dustin. Wow, one, nope. nope. Okay, might be a little bit more expensive than I thought, 
But um, there are more armor sets that people sell on the board that you can't buy from the shops or that people craft, and it's much more better. Anyways, let's go straight to upgrading these armor stuff. Unfortunately, mine's already upgraded, so I can only explain how they are right now. So, for my uh, clothing upgrade paths, if you can see, it's already 3 at 3. Just know that when you upgrade your uh, armors and stuff like that, and not, this is not just this is not weapons. Weapons don't do this. But armors, like uh, just armor, I don't think it does it on boots. No, it doesn't do it on boots or gloves, but just only armors or clothing. Once you do an upgrade, it's gonna personalize to you. It's gonna say your name on it. It's gonna be like Bobo only or Baba ba only item. And once it is personalized to you, you cannot ever trade it or sell it unless you use a trade on that potion, which costs money. So um, just do keep that in mind. Once you decide to upgrade, just know that you won't be able to sell it unless you actually spend money to sell it. Um, and I think I believe it's like real money too. Okay. But the great thing about upgrades, uh, personalized items, is that you can put them in your me tab. For those who don't know about their me tab, you can throw all personalized items in here. So all of these are personalized to me. Wait, can I upgrade this? Sweet, I can upgrade this. All right, I can actually do one upgrade path here. Woo! For clothing, for clothing. All right, so I've got my Shamala here at two out of three upgrades. So I can go ahead and upgrade that one more time. I'm gonna guess it's at Eden. I mean, not Eden. I'm saying guess it's at Simon. I'm gonna go all the way over to Simon. I better upgrade my Shamala. Make it fantastic. Okay. For those that have never never upgraded uh, any clothing or armor, just know that for clothing, when you upgrade it, it's only it's a really small amount of upgrades. It's only like three usually. For armor, it's usually roughly around four or five. So do keep that in mind that you can upgrade armor more than clothing. And for clothing, it's really not much in terms of what you can do for upgrading. Come on, Simon, what you got from my Shamalas? Modify. Let's go to my Shamala. You'll see here the choices of what I can upgrade with. It's either protection, I mean defense power with one max, protection with one deer, defense power one protection, artistic, uh, defense power one protection. So, the artistin is question question mark because you don't know what role you're gonna get. It's not guaranteed. They won't even tell you what stats you're gonna get because you might not even get the stats. That's the downside to it. If you wanted like strength or int, and you know that that upgrade path upgrade artistin was gonna give you strength or int, you might actually upgrade it and you might not get the strength or you might not get the int, and then you might end up getting like. Only one or the other, or if you look, if you look, you get both. So that's how artistic upgrades work. It's not guaranteed. Versus the rest of these upgrades, they are guaranteed. Forgot to mention that. Sorry about that. Okay, so by looking at my uh, list choice here, I can either go with the best. Um, what's this? This one. What is this? This is technically Simon's specialty here. <laughs> Simon's club armor specialty. Whoa! He adds two defense, one protection. However, downside is he lowers your durability by five. Ew, gross. Uh, I have 24 durability. It's not too bad. But do I really want to lower my defense and protection? I mean, do I really want to lower my uh? Well, something change here. Okay. Do I really want to uh, lower my durability just for some defense and protection? Well, I think. 
just for this specific outfit, I'm gonna go with the artisan upgrade and see how that works for me. It's gonna cost me a hundred percent proficiency and twenty twenty thousand gold. I'm not gonna know what the roll is, but you know, surprise, surprise, let's see what I get. Yes. Alright, let's see what I got. It seems that the roll has given me ten will and one protection. So that's the thing about Artisan is that it'll give you like a really random roll uh, of stats. And for me, uh, if I don't like the Artisan roll, I can always get one of those Artisan what are those called? Artisan removal kits, something like that from the cash shop. Um, however, the downside to that is that you have to like pay for your um, your upgrade again. Um, and you have to keep re-rolling until you find it. And it's kind of like it's kind of like um enchanting in a way, but not really. It's random. It's like a gotcha pawn. <laughs> it's a gotcha pawn upgrade thing. Um, so that is if you're not satisfied with your artistic upgrade path and you want to re-roll. For me, I don't really care because my Shamala is like whatever. Here. All right, so that is basically cloth upgrade. And for armor upgrade, it's same. It's literally almost the same. You kind of you go to other people, not to like clothing repair per people's. Go to like the blacksmithers, smithers, and they'll show you the uh, types of upgrades you can choose from. Again, you can either choose to artisan or not. Uh, but do keep in mind that once you artisan something, like for weapons, specifically just for weapons, if you were to artisan uh, a weapon, let me see, there you go. It's hard to see in this huge list of like random stuff. I don't think that's an artisan upgrade. No, it's not. Move the clock. Clocks in my face. Nope, not that one. Where's my crappy one? There it is. You can see here, in comparison to my other cylinders here, these cylinders at the very bottom you'll see, very, very, very bottom, don't look at all those texts. The very bottom you'll see Fire Alchemy 20 damage uh, increase. That is the fifth upgrade path that I've chosen, uh, or gem upgrade path. And I stuck with it. However, this one I did not choose a uh, increase in fire alchemy damage. I picked the artisan for this one, and it was kind of a bad idea because you know stats. These stats don't really do much for my uh, cylinder, so this cylinder is actually a very failed cylinder, even though it's a step six. Um, but basically, uh, I did an artisan upgrade on this cylinder and. It wasn't too great. It gave me a lot of strength and a bit of HP, but that doesn't do much for alchemy, you know. So it's really, uh, it's really good to check on what type of weapon you're upgrading, what type of gear you're, you're upgrading. It's gonna be really difficult for me to explain to you guys uh, which one, how people have to upgrade a certain way because yeah, everyone's different. Um. And also, last but not least, once you do an artisan upgrade and then you decide to do a gem upgrade, you cannot undo your artisan upgrade. Gem upgrade? Oh, sorry. Once you do your artisan upgrade, what goes first? Artisan or gem? Like, blinding myself right now. Artisan? I think gem is the last upgrade. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Brain fart. Alright. So once you do your artisan upgrade, and you then you do your gem upgrade after, because gem upgrade is always the last one. Just just remember the normal upgrade paths first, and then artisan is usually the last one. Either the artisan is the last one or the last normal upgrade, and after that it's gem upgrade, and then after that it's special upgrade. Okay, okay, I know it's so confusing. Um, once you do your gem upgrade. You cannot re-roll your artisan upgrade. Just do keep that in mind because if you decide to try to re-roll your artisan upgrade after you gem upgrade, you cannot. So that is uh, one thing to keep in mind. And special upgrade 
is the very, very last for weapons. So you cannot special upgrade gears, or clothing, and stuff like that. Special upgrade only works for weapons. And special weapon, uh, special upgrades are at these anvils. You'll see them all over the place in uh, uh, Mapanoe. You can also have one in your own homestead. And what they do is that when you click sirs on one of these, and you were to drop your cylinder in one of these, like let's say I'm gonna put my cylinder in that one, um, you have to already have one a fully upgraded, normal upgraded uh, weapon. Two, you also need to have a gem upgraded as well. And then three, you need to choose which type of upgrade path you want in terms of, in terms of either red or blue. So you'll need a red upgrade stone, and you'll need a or you'll need a blue upgrade stone, and they look something like 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 that right there. Blue upgrade stone, red upgrade stone. They're fairly expensive. Then they're, they're really like annoying to get, in my opinion. <clears throat> and you're gonna have to use a lot. Uh, so for this one, my cylinder, where to go? Oh, no. Where did it go? It's gone. It's gone for It vanished. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> okay, so this cylinder right here. If you look at the bottom, it is already at step 5. That is pretty darn good. Uh, if you were to upgrade from step 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5, you have a chance of failing and going back. So if you were to upgrade up to step 3, and you failed trying to get to 4, you'll go back down to 2. So just know that once you fail, you go down. That's the downside to special upgrades. You're going to have to spend a lot of money, spend a lot of stones, and the percentage just like slowly starts to decrease as you increase, as you rank up more, uh, upgrade more. The last special upgrade uh, step you can get is 6, and that is the most risky one to get because once you upgrade to 5 and you try to upgrade from 5 to 6 and you fail, you do not go back down. You actually blow your weapon up. You destroy it to smithereens and you'll never see it again. It's like, bye weapon. Farewell, I give up on you. So just know that once you get to five and you decide to try to step outright to six, think twice. Unless you have like a spare. I would always have a spare uh weapon just to make sure uh before you step upgrade to six. Alright, that is one thing to keep in mind. And once you get it, and the awesome things about these step upgrades, and this is only step upgrades only, is the glow. This is probably what people are wondering. How are people getting weapons that glow like this? That is what the special upgrade is. It is the glow. Um, I can't really show you guys the difference between other glows. Just know as you get to a higher rank in uh, your weapon, the glow becomes significantly slightly brighter at least for cylinders they're not that noticeable compared to other weapons like swords and stuff um, the glow gets better uh, the red upgrade paths gives you a red one the blue upgrade one I mean yeah the blue upgrade path gives you a blue glow so I think this one's blue this blue this one's blue and each weapon will have it so you can see my leg right here cylinder no I mean Mandolin. Demonic. Gloomy Sunday has a blue upgrade path. So that is what the uh, special upgrades are. Hopefully this upgrade uh, video gear uh, skill thingy doesn't confuse too many of you guys. I know I kind of like ran through it pretty quick. It's really hard for me to sum it up into like a very short video, very simple video. But just know that uh, I'll try to make a more simple step-by-step -step video on it, like literally step one, take a step two, this, step three, this, and so on. All right. Anyways.
thanks you guys for watching. I hope this video was very helpful. If you guys have any suggestions, comments, requests, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I will answer them. Thank you. Poof.